Okay, it's time to talk about my May reading plans. Very exciting stuff. I have few books that I cannot wait to tell you about. I just want to mention that this year has been incredible. My favorite ye reading year probably in my whole life. Just about every book I read, I enjoyed at a certain level. Some of them, my all-time favorites. So this is great. I'm hoping May can keep me going on that trajectory right for the stars at Astra. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about the books I'm, I want to read in May. Well, let's talk about the book that I will definitely be reading in May. It's Stephen King, book four in the Dark Tower series, Wizard and Glass. I'm really excited about this one. I was supposed to read Gunslinger in April. I ended up reading Gunslinger, The Drawing of the Three, and Wastelands. The story is amazing, propulsive, fabulous characters, action-packed, well-written also. Stephen King at his best, weird ideas. So I'm loving The Dark Tower. Let me know which book is your favorite. I have heard now from more than one person that it's this one. Let me know which one is your favorite if you've read The Dark Tower uh, series. So I'm definitely reading that. And But this, this is a big boy. In the edition that I'm holding here, it's almost 900 pages. So I don't know how many other books I'll be able to get to, but I'm hoping it'll be a few. I'm definitely hoping to get to Ursula K. Le Guin. I love Ursula K. Le Guin, Left Hand of Darkness, Lathe of Heaven, The Dispossessed, which I read many years ago. I don't remember much of it other than the worlds. I want to reread it. I've read other books by Ursula K. Le Guin, Rankinen's World. Um, I like almost all of them and I cannot wait to crack this one. I didn't even remember that it's the winner of a Hugo, which doesn't always mean much. I don't love every single Hugo that I've read, but the word for world is forest, is my next Ursula K. Le Guin. It's fairly short. I'm hoping it'll be amazing. I'm hoping it's going to be full of this beautiful prose that Ursula K. Le Guin is known for. I think I heard that it inspired Avatar, which was a good movie. I watched the first one. I didn't see the second, but uh, yeah, I want to read that book. The next one, on my list here that I'm thinking uh, to read in May is The Wall by Marilyn Haushofer. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that last name correctly. Probably not. My German is uh, at zero. Uh, anyway, this is a dystopian tale and I've read so many dy dystopian books I've realized over the years. I want to do a video where I talk about my favorite dystopian novels, rank them, is Stand Above the Road, What About Ice by Anna Kavan, Station Eleven, Good one as well. 1984, is it better than Brave New World? Or is Fahrenheit 451 the best one? Who knows? I want to read, I, I want to add the wall to the collection of dystopian post-apocalyptic reads. This book is supposedly full of what was described as sustained dread. That I think I'm again learning that I actually enjoy reading. So I'm hoping that I will enjoy this book. One thing that I, that I already can tell that I'm not gonna like about it is the lack of chapter breaks. There are no chapters. It just goes right straight through and no dialogues, no dialogues at all. Uh, the protagonist here is kind of left alone in the world from what I, or what I can gather from the blurb. So I, I like to have those chapter breaks. I like shorter chapters in fact, um, but uh, it is what it is. I'm still hoping that this will be an excellent uh, time-worthy read. Let me know if you've read The Wall uh, or what your favorite dystopian post-apocalyptic novel is. I will be putting together a video in the coming months that's going to be all about that. Next one, go. Golden Sun, book two in the Red Rising saga. I was going to say trilogy, but it's more than that, obviously, now. I've read book one, uh, Red Rising. I thought it was good. I thought it was okay but it wasn't great. It didn't blow me away. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I've heard that Pierce Brown's prose here gets so much better, I probably would stop at Red Rising. I really liked the beginning. The world building there was fabulous. Again, that dread. Um, but then, then I kind of lost interest and I was glad when the book ended. But I have heard from many people that book two is a big step up. So let's hope that happens. I was supposed to read this, by the way, in April, but guess what? Stephen King, destroyed those plans for me because I was supposed to read Gunslinger in April and I ended up re reading Gunslinger, uh, Drawing of the Three and Wastelands. So there it goes. <laughs> there was no time for Golden Sun. Hopefully this will not happen again in the month of May. Hopefully I'm not sitting here in June talking about reading 
this one. We'll see. If time permits, I also want to read some short stories. And I have two books of short stories that I'm kind of equally excited about. On one hand, we have Stanislav Lem, perhaps favorite science fiction author. And on the other hand, we have someone from whom I have not read much, Harlan Ellison. Lots of short stories here. The only one I read is I have no mouth and I need to scream. And I really like that short story. Oh my God, talking about dread, talking about horrible circumstances, uh, nihilism, that book, I'm sorry, that short story is stunning. If you have not read, I have no mouth and I need to scream, do yourself a favor, find, uh, it's actually in this edition as well, find it, read it, it's spectacularly, I don't know if scary is the right word, uh, but brutal certainly is thought-provoking. And in this age where we are learning to live with artificial intelligence on a daily basis, I see some booktubers using AI all the time. They're basically uh, reading what AI told them to say. In any case, this, this story uh, was fabulous. However, it's the only one I've read of Harlan Ellison's. Let me know what you think. So Lem is a fabulous author. I love him, but I have read so much of his, so many of his uh, stories and novels that maybe Harlan Ellison should get the front seat on this one. We'll see. This is a nice edition of Stanislav Lem's short stories in English, a nice collection. I have not read many of these. So either way I go, I think I'm going to be super, super happy to do it. Uh, super happy to get into some short stories as well. They're great to read when you're reading something big like Stephen King's Dark Tower to intertwine readings of this epic story with some very condensed, quick ideas like Harlan Ellison's The Greatest Hits is the title of this collection. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know what I should be reading. What should I prioritize in case I can't read all of these? Because I do have to work. I do have a family. I do have other hobbies. I'm going to be going on a mountain biking, kind of crazy mountain biking trip in Colorado. Palisades Plunge. We're going to be camping, sleeping in a tent and biking in a setting that really is otherworldly. I love mountain biking in Colorado, in Utah. These places are incredible. The terrain is so spectacular. Who knows how many books I'll be able to read in, my, in May. I'm just hoping that, again, the trend of quality over quantity will continue. So anyway, thank you for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye!